gonna puke. Do this.
am. I'm going to miss that constant bickering. The unending fights. I never knew an ox more stubborn. Who'd fall a family into fire. And in the end did exactly that. Look too strong. I'll make it. The access point lies before you. Link to it, insert yourself, then search for me on the other side. Just be yourself.
Let us go then, you and I. When the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels, and sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. Johnny, all packed, you wash out, got your one-way ticket. This funny to you? You know, discovered one nice thing about becoming Johnny Silverhand. You stopped giving the slimmest shit about Johnny Silverhand. That right. This mean you've already decided what comes next? Alt first. Where's the winch? Haven't caught on yet, have you? What? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Hey, Alt. So seeing as we seem to have the soul splitting out of the way, what's next? I am currently verifying the checksum and eliminating engram copy errors in the process. Wait, you mean... I... am I a construct? She means you followed in my footsteps. Next steps to copy you into the gonk's brain. Still plan to obliterate Mikoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gotta burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. You'll gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. Hold on! I want to know what the hell happened to me, exactly! I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny data incursion and override, but V's engram integrity remains high. Meaning you can transfer his psyche back into his brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. Are you absolutely sure? Check again. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body. 
The biochip's nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. I can't, I can't believe it. Everything. All we did. It was pointless. I've had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. What's it like? Beyond the Black Wall. Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind. At least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? Just... Until we find another way. Finding another way would be making a deal with Sarka. I'll pass. Jesus. Be a shapeless shadow in a digital afterlife. I really think I'd rather die. It is freedom from the body's limitations. From the base worries of life in the world. It is a new perspective on all. No. You're left with fading memories. I'm sharing a bed. Head splitting hangovers. Sea breeze on my face. Sun's heat on my shoulders. So take no. back your life. The six months you've got left. Didn't think life was worth clinging to. Not at any price, anyway. Cause it ain't. Wrong. That light beyond the black wall. See? That's hope. It could be the flames of hell or heaven's grace. It might also be an engram reading code. But it's a promise of survival. We've learned how to turn into pure data. But an animal still prowls inside us. And its instinct to survive almost can't be extinguished. Yeah, that instinct's part of being human, but so is denying it. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant, I don't know, a happier ending for everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? Wrong city. Wrong people. You have the right to make a choice you have earned, through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Normal again, Johnny. That's what I want to be. Want to live out whatever time I got left. For fuck's sake, defend yourself. You're not even trying. You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength for one last big bang.
being smoked with damage valued in excess of the annual budget of many a small country. Serves you right. <laughs> This dam, remember it well, our beginnings. I did not know what to make of you then. And now you do? You'll not get any tearful confessions out of me. Yeah, it wouldn't be tearful. I know you. What I think of you now matters not at all. Tomorrow we will be elsewhere. We'll start everything anew, you and I. Ask me then. Can't hardly wait. Get ready, Arizona. Here we come. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. Should have done this long ago, gotten some perspective on the city, my life there. The city of dreams. I'd gladly kick the balls off the idiot who thought that one up. Pan Am, after Makoshi, everything there. I'm glad we made it. Here, together. And that we're leaving, together. Bid the city farewell. We won't see it again. Used to think of it as my city. Bonded together. I owned it, it owned me. Nothing to keep me there now, though. I feel the same way. What on earth was I thinking? Thought the city would help us see ourselves for who we were. Both of us. Yes, but damn it! It's like a damned dealer at a damned kabuki casino. And I went all in and I lost everything. Almost everything. Yes, I suppose you're right. We owe that shithole something. But we're getting out. At last. Placing our bets on something better somewhere else. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Just a little blood, Pan Am. It's nothing. V, promise me. As soon as we arrive down south, we'll go to my contacts. We'll fix... whatever needs fixing. Won't lose me, Pan Am. I promise. But you'll have enough of me yet. Saul, once. Do you know what he told me? That anyone is truly free just once. When they know they have nothing to lose. Exactly. Next month, that's us. Got nothing to lose, and that's how we live. Speaking of which, what about our plan? Everything is said and confirmed. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear and set off. Yes, the road could be hard, but as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V... Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Well, Night City. Good night and good luck.
Yura Nobu Arasaka confirmed that his sis, Hanako, was among the victims. So it seems we've got a changer coming at the tippity top of the Megacorp. Soaked in the usual gallons of blood, sweat, and tears, of course. This is... with the Panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Give us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. I can smell the ozone, even through the air conditioning. It's that storm getting close.
All right. So the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. So you found a gate in the wall. Clever. Not in as much as under. It's one of those old smuggling tunnels. Thankfully, it's still open. It wasn't the easiest thing to locate after all these years. But now, nothing can stop us now. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. And what about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol. Heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carolyn Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. And nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, we call the shots, right? We know the road's like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Thanks. Well, time to move. Before that storm finds us. Are we all set? Mm hmm So jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad. Behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest. Got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't sink it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. Fuck. I just realized something. What? The border wall. It wasn't here when I was little. I never imagined it would be. But I had this inkling that everything was different up north. That some bright fucking future awaited me there. Yeah, I think I know what comes next. Once you wound up on the other side and nothing changed, you thought Night City was the answer. Everything would change there. Yes. And you know the tale's end, too. Not returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. No. I'd be the same place on the other side, same space, but you're different. Totally different. All in all, you're right. I have you. And the rest of these clowns. Get moving. I'm 
heading west and activating the jammers. They've marked me. I'm turning east to get them off your tail. Good luck, kids. See you on the other side. what you wanted. A new beginning. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. They say, you rolling around in the dirt with the Aldecaldos? Have you lost your mind, mijo? Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? Night City was too boring for you. Estás loco, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. <sighs> Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not going to a second funeral. 
out to see some old faces. Don't forget to stop by Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. <laughs> Cuídate, V. Hey, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. Wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V. Listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say, uh... I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. Never realized how hard being a chief would be. Always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just... I'm so lucky to have you, V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. How... Guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. V. Hey. Christ. That run we did. My heart's still pounding. The pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we've walked through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Gotta hand it to you, V. I'm impressed. When you told me you were gonna go after Hellman, I was sure you'd come back as a garbage bag full of smithereens. But you did it. I'm not usually wrong about people and what they're capable of. I'm curious to see what else you've got in ya. If you're looking for your next job, you know where to find me. B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. But I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Hey, V. Jefferson Peral is here. You know, mayor of Night City. I'm calling about our recent program to tackle homelessness. What do you say about being the head of my security detail, huh? As you know, the number of people I can trust are few and far between. Next week we're going to be raising the city's taxes. So, things might get a little hairy. Come by, we'll hammer out a good deal for you. I'm no any pincher when it comes to safety. Alright, well, we'll be in touch, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you, out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free. Cause we're the 